Another myth that I often hear is that we should be aiming for a stress-free life. That is a nirvana. We get painted this picture of living on a tropical island, pina colada in our hands, feet up in a hammock. And whilst yes, it does sound very attractive, how realistic really is it? And maybe actually it's not even good for our health. So when you think about stress, you need to think around the parabola in terms of performance and stress levels. On the far right hand side, if we experience stress over a long period of time and it's overwhelming and we can't cope, then we are more prone to burnout. And yes, that has very negative long-term consequences for ourselves. But conversely, on the left hand side, when we are underutilized, we rust out and that actually is not good for our health. In fact, there are two very interesting pieces of research that I've come across that support this logic. The first one is middle-aged men who were bored in the work that they were doing versus men who were engaged with the work that they are doing were twice as likely to have a heart attack over the next 20 years. And then looking at people who were coming to retirement and didn't have outside interests, they found that 40% of them experienced heightened levels of depression. And so not being stimulated is not what we're aiming for. We're looking for that middle zone. Now, the reality is, as human beings, we're not always neatly going to fit into these categories. There's going to be times when you're going to be understimulated, times when you're overstimulated. But if you look at the, the bulk of where you spend your time, where are you on this parabola? Because that's ultimately what we're aiming for, is that optimal zone. Join us on our Resilience Online program to help optimize your levels of stress.